All right, guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're playing some Jax top lane in the newest patch that just came out. We're running into the Gangplank matchup. And for the runes, we got Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity. We got Last End, Second Wind, Overgrowth, and then also combining Second Wind with a uh, Dawn Shield. We have a really interesting matchup today. They actually just buffed uh, Gangplank a few days ago. And we have the perfect matchup for that. I don't think that Gangplank is going to do anything here at all. He does have to push against me because he got uh, to the lane f uh, first before me. It's quite unfortunate for me, but if we make it to level 3 and hopefully not take too much damage, we will easily be able to all in this guy. We also got the um, second win slash Dawn Shield combo, and it's something that I highly advise if you run into like a heavy poke matchup. Like Gangplank is going to Q all day. Without a doubt, he's going to focus like crazy, right? So the combo is going to do so much. I can't last with that one, because otherwise he hits another Q on me. <clears throat> Not going to eat that too. I need my uh, I need my Counter Strike to be ready in a very specific time. If I use my Counter Strike right now, it's going to go on a big cooldown. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder if he's going to hit. Yeah, there it is. I'm moving forward so I don't entirely mess up the entire wave. Okay, it's, it's a decent trade. Remember that I heal back with my setup. So it's not entirely that bad. Oh, that's good timing. I'll give the Gangplank credit for this one. Nice. I'll definitely give the Gangplank credit for that one. That was a really good one. That was a really good timing. Very impressive. Like, he had to predict my E for that, by the way. And to have such like such an incredible, uh, uh, like, good timing, you have to predict Jack's E for that. I have to reset here. I've got no mana. I can tell them. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are building into specifically a Trinity Force. So, um, currently in this patch, they actually nerfed uh, Blade of the Rune King. Um, I wouldn't say that the Blade of the Rune King nerf is that massive, though. People think it's a really big nerf. I don't think it really is a big nerf. I don't think it is. I think that the item is still insanely broken. It will continue to be broken um, forever. Now, I don't think that um, Blade of King in this matchup is very smart. Uh, I think that Trinity is just way smarter because then I can also rely on the short combos and still deal a lot of damage. And I'll just have to show you. But yeah, we got the uh, Sheen already, so that's good for the short trades. I'm just going to stay back here. I don't want to get caught by a Gangplank E or Q. Preferably not. I'll just place a ward there too so I can see what he's actually doing. He's probably going to try and barrel. I wouldn't be impressed. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's a quite tough matchup for Gangplank. For several reasons. I'm actually able to dodge the, the barrels too if I queue correctly. Still trying to stay outside. Like, I can go for like an all-in trade here. And I could probably win it. The, the downside to that is that I will lose my farm as well. Which is something I don't want to do. I'm going to see if I can cancel the the bag port. Always a reason to keep on keeping on. Okay, decent trade. He's trying to charge the, the barrels. So now it's about uh, charging my uh, autos and then going in at perfect timing. No Very good. Yeah, he's going to hit the queue. Remember, I got the healing set up. Oh, almost lost the cannon. Not part of the plan. Okay, we just have to push this one, and then we're good. It's okay if it hits. No problem. It's absolutely okay. I can take that that much. I'll show you why. Look, this, um, here, here's the catch, right? So, we just got a really good trade-off. And the wave got under tower right now, and Gangplank is forced to farm the wave. What we can do is we can reset. <laughs> kidding me. 
kidding me? Come on. I almost had my backport. My backport was like 0 point something seconds. I don't know. My backport was incredibly close. Okay. No problem. No problem. I got it. Ooh, I appreciate my jungler, man. This guy's trying to freeze it. I appreciate that, man. Let's go. Hey, Lebo, thank you so much for the sub, Ryan, bro. Thank you for subbing and supporting me. Also, Teddy, thank you for the two months resub. Welcome back, Teddy. Thank you so much, man. Okay, we've got the wave into a fantastic position, I would say. I hope that the uh, cannon is going to go down so Gangplank is not actually getting it. It's not going to go down, so it's not as perfect as I thought it was. Okay, no problem. No sword and shield beats old faithful. Now we just stack up the wave. We try and push it as slowly as we can. Ooh, good timing again. So guys, got Sheen and Ruby and Longsword. So he's built. He's probably building the same stuff like I am. Uh, he's got that hit on the from the barrel. Okay. Yeah, he blocked that one again. I could be looking for a dive here. Ah, uh, never mind. I guess. He is on my backboard. The jungler is definitely not here. Good chance he's going to try and barrel. Hmm. Okay. Very good. Put a point in my queue here. I'm kind of close. I don't think I'd be able to reach it with my flash. I don't think so. I also can't go back to my lane. Yeah, there it is. Very good. Got my suspicious that we could be getting ganked. So I'll just have to back immediately right now. I have no chance. Oh, come on. There's a ward. Nah, you can't be serious. There's a ward right there. So you know that um, if you walk in the bush and the wave will continue to focus you down, you know for a fact that it is being warded. If there's no ward in there and he basically has zero vision, it is very safe to say that um, there's no ward. So based off like how the wave is going to focus you down, you know if there's vision there or not. It's very easy to tell. But yeah, fortunately, we were not being ganked by a Mumu there. That's very nice. We, in terms of, like, items right now, we, we have, like, a, a really nice lead against Gangplank, but we don't have Trinity yet. Uh, Gangplank definitely got a... Uh, um, he definitely came back in the game after I died from the jungle gank, so... Takes a bit more effort to get a lead here. He made a serious mistake. He walked away. No idea of what for what for. But he lost the plate. That's a that's a goal for him. Ooh. Nice barrel dodge. Okay. Now we still push the wave. And we're just gonna be looking for an all in whenever we can. Am I being baited, possibly? I don't know. I could be getting baited right now. There could be a jungler here. Because he walks off to the river. Why would you walk off to the river? There's probably a jungler involved. Like, most people play like that if there is a jungler nearby. And if the jungler walks away, they start moving back to the tower. That's often what happens. I don't see their jungler on the map right now. I don't know. Oh, that's true. 
I'll just have to save my Q for now. Wish I could play more aggressive. I don't know where my where the jungler is. Still don't see the jungler at all. Or I just take the risk and I just go for the trade. Huh. Probably jungle's nearby here. I'll probably leave this up to uh, to Wukong, maybe. Mm, he's quite low. I think we can probably dive. I'll ask our requests if we can dive this guy. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, nice dive. There's apparently a uh, Morgana being involved here. You see, guys, that this is like advice that I highly encourage if, uh, like, if you're playing top lane, right? Sometimes, uh, something that you should be doing is uh, to ping your jungler for a call so like here's the catch for a lot of people that play top lane most people that play top lane they're waiting for their jungler to make a play in the game right that's how most of us think at least that people just wait for a jungle gank the thing is like sometimes when you play top lane you have to set up top lane for the jungler and then you have to ping your jungler to make it happen and it, this is like a really good example of this. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for steel caps, actually. Despite them having so much CC. There you go. So, like, sometimes it's better to set up top lane and then ping your jungler to gank. And then specifically uh, go for, like, a dive uh, setup. Or something else. But let your jungler be aware of the situation. <laughs> I don't think I can really make any difference here. If I go there or not, I don't think it does anything. There's a, a move here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I took that healing away from them. <laughs> Let's go, man. Alright, we are good to go. Let's go back. Uh, we're going to go for the next item right now, which will probably... The Steric Gauge. Um, a little bit of an unexpected item, but it, it's something that I'm thinking about this game a lot because they have... <clears throat> they specifically have a ton of CC and we're running Steel Caps. That's why I'm considering Steric Gauge as a secondary option. I don't typically buy Steric Gauge on Jack's second item, but in this game, it would make a lot of sense if I build it. They have a crazy amount of CC. Uh, Steric Gauge provides... Specifically, tenacity. Ooh, okay, I didn't get caught into him. This course is out. We're gonna try to apply a little bit more pressure on the on the game here. So we're not just gonna stay top lane, but we're gonna try and push it out, see if we can rotate. If not, we just try and catch the game plank. Four people showing on the map here. That means we can do our part. Let's push the next wave out. We're getting ganked. It's one for our life. Huh. 
They're strong. They're really strong. Now, so my my plan was to jump on the gangplank. Gangplank was definitely smart enough. He he didn't walk anywhere closer into my Q range. And if I uh, Q into him, I would also go like even deeper in the in the top lane, so they could even uh, fight me easier then. That's unfortunate. Actually, well played by Mundo. Oh, Faker got the wave. This bot lane better be careful about how they play if they keep overextending like that. Yeah, they're gonna rotate to a different lane now. Okay. <clears throat> now that guy's is dead. Probably. everything I want to try and keep on uh, facing off the gangplank I'm in a very very good position right now where I, where I can keep snowballing against him Always a reason to keep on. Oh, oh man that's such an unfortunate time you can't be serious on that hmm at least safe to say he does not have to flash the next time, so. I think there's like uh, 2 billion wards down here, so they probably know where I am. Uh, Gangplank is also uh, moving down here. Oh no, you can't be serious on that. He actually managed to make it out. Oh, okay. My W should have applied on him. Second time that Gangplank actually gets to escape. Unfortunate. No sword and shield beats old faithful. Okay, I'm gonna go top. I'll see if I can uh, face off the gangplank once again. Come on, let's go. Okay, nice. Got the jump. Yeah, I don't think that gangplank will stay top, but... That guy's going too far. Yeah, let's push this out. Jake will spawn in 50. Three people show on the map. Nice barrel. Okay. We will get a good rotation. Really good fight, if it starts. <laughs> nice. Solid. You wanna know why this is such an incredible fight? It is because Gangplank, like we basically uh, pushed top lane very far and we knew that Gangplank was uh, farming top lane uh, right after I push. So if I rotate and my entire teammates will group and they all group in mid and it's like 5 against 4, then I'm obviously going to go in. I'll just ping like crazy. Uh, it doesn't matter if my jungler dies there or not. We had like a, a number advantage. And the, uh, the only thing that uh, Gangplank could have done was to press old and he just wasn't there he wasn't in that fight so yeah that was it pretty much it uh, next item we're gonna go for i still want to try and complete 
the item that I was going for. So I want to be going for Blade here. Blade is very good still because then I can counter Mundo with it. If I get into a 1v1, I need to have some on-hit damage against them. Uh, same thing counts for a Mumu. And if I have Blade, I can also uh, partially counter the Gangplank uh, because of the effect. I need to be able to chase him down. So that's pretty much why. Okay, my teammates will have to be in extremely, extremely careful here. It's Mundo overextending in bot lane. Hmm. Doesn't look for me. Uh, maybe we can go mid again. I want to see what happens. I want to see where they go and then like uh, base limit. Should be a good team fight because number advantage. Again, number advantage wins. Oh. Okay. Morgana didn't get into range, so my idea just didn't work out. I was trying to hold my abilities uh, specifically for their supports. I didn't want to use my abilities on Mundo. I want to use my abilities on uh, on, the, on on Morgana here, but she never got in range, which was a a smart choice, to be fair. I don't know if he can also steal the... Uh, I mean, not steal, but they already took it. Oh, never mind. I want to get the red buff, but they got it already. Gotta keep limber at my age. Okay, we officially got Blade Throne King. Although I think... I hope that my teammates don't go for a fight right now. Okay, let's go for another fight. Learned every weapon, Can't go bot lane because then I'll leave my teammates behind, which is a very bad idea. You keep uh, at least one lane moving. Okay. We have no vision on jungle here, so they could be anywhere. Gangplank is bot lane, should be looking for a fight. If Gangplank is in bot lane, we need to look for a fight. It's like the best moment to try something out. I guess no team fight. Stay back off in time. Gangplank is moving away as soon as we go balling. Right they, um. Hmm. Need to try and figure out a way to either 1v1 the Gangplank or go for a team fight when they're separated. These old bones Those are the, the best options. I can't use my abilities. Uh, I don't get my ability back for a while. Yeah, we, we got the Gangplank. I was thinking of the 1v2, but I wasn't prepared for the Umumu. Unfortunate. I think my next item will be... I'm thinking about going for Sundrot Sky. I'm also thinking about Titanic Hydra, but I think that um, Sundrot Sky, uh, Sundra Sky does a better job. Yeah, let's go for Sundrot Sky. I 
I kind of hope we don't lose that Drake, but I guess we have no choice. We will probably lose it. I think we're better off just ignoring the Drake because by the time I get there, they'll probably already have. I think. I'm really curious uh, to see where Gangplank would go. I'm waiting to find out where it is. Okay, it's actually up here. <laughs> I don't know why Yumi doesn't attach to me here. You're I actually uh, were to hope that Yumi would attach to me uh, in this game. Sometimes. I guess. I couldn't actually finish up the Kai's house trying to do that. Their Mundo is definitely a challenge. Like, he's not super fat, but Mundo is just insanely OP in the late game nowadays. It's very hard to get him down. just what the champ is right now. Can't uh, push another wave out. I'll back here. So I don't get a Mumu queued. Worst case scenario, right? Um, I'll just sell that. I'm not going to go for... Pickaxe. Oh, yeah. I want to go for the uh, Sundered Sky here, so let's go for this. I hope that uh, my mid laner is going to scale like uh, enough this match to eventually delete them. They will start Baron if I stay bot lane. I have to move towards them right now. Uh, my jungler's dead. Yeah, I figured out he was going to die. I already pinged for that. Um, I knew that because there was no vision anywhere and they had to push on the... My teammates are very far away. That Mundo is... Like, I have Blade of Throne King, which should, you know, in theory, be like a massive counter to Mundo. This Mundo actually built uh, Spirit Visage. So he's in, he's not even building, like, full armor. Um, but I, I just I just deleted myself by his item. Like, it's, it's crazy how strong he is. 
Like, I am mega fed for Jax, but th th this Mundo is like zero too. But like, he's, he's just uh, completely unkillable. Insane. Okay, no problem. Uh, last item we go for is... Thinking about um, trying to maximize my uptime for the Counter-Strike. So what I'm thinking about is going for Spear of Shojin. But we can also go for uh, Titanic Hydra in case the inhibitor, uh, the inhibitor go down. That's not currently the case though. I'll go for long sword for now. Uh, GA is also an option by the way. GA is also very good right now. I think they probably got Drake now. Uh, we already lose the fight. We have no number advantage. Mm. Come on, man. I was hoping Gangplank could walk into me. Still in the Mumu. Hey, we got a Yumi. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, you actually up here. Out for sure. Very good. Stick with ult. Oh, unfortunately, the Yumi attaches to my AD carry again. <laughs> I'm always happy with Yumi, but I have no Yumi this game. 1.8. We gotta take care of top lane in the in a moment from now. Let's walk away. Nice. I need like just a little bit more to obtain my uh, final item. I'm just gonna get the farm to my ADC here. No problem. Let's go for another team fight. That's not any damage considering this is like an AP version. Up. Well, the end of the world. <laughs> Still going caught in it. I need like uh, 250. It's going to make a pretty big difference. Pick up the farm in uh, in mid, then we can uh, get my item. Okay, I'm ready. We are officially full build. I just need to buy the potion. I'll just ask if I can have Yumi. I'll just ask for it. Okay, that does seem like Yumi is going to attach me.
There's no way of escaping that window. So I, I deleted their Kai'Sa, which is amazing. Uh, she received the Morgana shield. And I still deleted Kai'Sa, which was insanely good. Actually, most of their damage just got... We just got rid of most of their damage, but... We are getting absolutely obliterated by Mundo itself. Uh, despite having Blade, we're just getting wrecked by his uh, Thormel. So we can still try and build this, but if we face off Mundo, like it's still uh, no use. But at least more damage for the leading Kaisa. I don't know if I will swap my boots around for something else. I don't know. Probably will. If I can get that stance, that would be nice, but we need movement speed this game. Let's go. Let's try another team fight. I need my teammates to be in mid. We need to go mid directly and just go for a fight. It's very easy to start the fight if we have a uh, number advantage here because their Kai'Sa is like... There's no reason to go top. There's nothing to obtain from this. We have no bot lane right now. Well, they're separated though. Oh, okay, never mind. They can probably see where I am. We're being outnumbered. We really need my teammates to group. Like being top lane, this guy's gonna die. Like anywhere ranging within five or 10 seconds. They go for Baron? Okay. This is very bad. This is very bad. Because if we go for a fight now, they can TP. Ah, it's Mundo. Yeah. This, uh, we're losing the objective here because of the fact that we're not grouping mid and just not pushing it out. Whoever pushes the lane first will get the objective. And my teammates have gone to a different direction, so... We didn't even have a chance. Let's try again. Next fool to ask about my fate. Really hope that we can have people grouping up soon. I, I want to try and do like a uh, try and win like a team fire through number advantage. They, uh, the enemy team wins is purely by grouping. That's it. They push, they group. That's all they're doing. Wonder how much AP this guy has. How many stacks does he have? Okay. Like plenty. We have no Caitlyn here. Again, we're not being grouped. We're, we're, we're seriously missing everything here. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. Uh, this game will be over soon. <clears throat> We've lost too much. Lost far too much. We uh, we've been losing uh, dragons, barons, uh, now even mid lane, bot lane. We, we lost several opportunities for a team fight, and it's uh, yeah, you guys know why. Now we have. I'm I'm seriously considering buying AOE so I can fix bot lane and mid lane because th th these lanes are going to push right now. They'll get Drake, and then the game is going to be over. I can't sell it yet. Let's buy another potion. I'll let my teammates farm out bot lane. I'll go top. They could, in theory, fight that, because Mundo is not, like, part of that fight. There's much more I can do. Uh, we'll get shelved in every single lane. Let's go for the steam cards. Nah, it's, the game's over. Okay. It was... It was an interesting game. It was a really amazing 1v5 and fortune another win. But it's okay. Hey, this is uh, Jack's top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Jack's video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.